What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I'm taking you along with me in a day in the life of a screen print shop from my parents' basement. My name is Bob Victor and I am the owner of Aesthetic Imprints, which is a custom apparel printing company based in Maryland. And like I said, today I'm taking you along with me in a day in the life of a screen print shop from home. Today I got two orders lined up for you guys, so let's go print that. Let's pause for a second. We will begin production, but first we got to know what type of t-shirts we're printing on. I got to get the t-shirts and all unboxed, so let's go do that. I already started the process, but I wanted to take you along with me. Um, the larges are here. Where's the mediums? I don't see the medium. That's there. And we got one, two, three, four. As you can see, I double check, triple check everything just to make sure all your sizes are here. All the client sizes are here. The t-shirts are right. And everything they ordered is here so that it can be printed and delivered. So let's start going to the print press. All right, guys, now that we got the shirts right there behind me on the table to start printing, print press, got the conveyor dryer heating up and the flash dryer heating up. Let's load up our screens. We're printing this one color design in the front and staff in the back because this is staff shirts for a local gym in the area. So let's load it up on the press. Now, let's get it lined up, registered, and taped up, and inked up. So let's go. Alright guys, as you guys see, we're using white ink and Ergo Force Squeeze. You gotta use this, especially with a big white print. It, it helps so much, especially with white ink. Um, so let's do a test print and make sure everything is right. Do a stretch test and let's go. Oh, first we're printing whiting and this, there's like no tack on here. So let's reactivate the tack and add more tack just because we're printing whiting on black shirts. So I want it there. I want there to be a lot of tack. So let's do that. And what I do with that is I basically spray the palette with water. Grab a regular scrub brush and wash all the lint or stuff from the t-shirts out and then heat this bad boy up under the flash and it's tacky as new. So let's do that with all of them. collecting all the tack, I mean all the lint. All right, you guys, I got it tacky, as tacky as it's gonna get. Let's do, let's do our test print. So we're gonna line this up. Line it up a little lower. This is our little test sheet that I like to use instead of test shirts. It's just easier. Flood it up. You see how the screen lifts when I go to print? That's that's how you know it's gonna be a good print. Off contact is perfect, everything is lifting. Let's see. And yeah, I mean, that thing is crystal clear. Yeah, that's amazing. That's the one bad thing about these sheets. They just roll up. I'm gonna just cure it under the flash. But yeah, that looks, fail. That looks clean. Let's move on to the actual shirts. Now that that looks good, 
Let's move on to the actual shirts. Actually, just to be safe, I'm gonna print on a test shirt just to make sure everything is going good. If I have a test shirt. All right, I don't have a test shirt. I mean, let me find something. All right, found this scrap shirt. Let's print on this. See how we're doing. So we can do a stretch test. See how the screen is lifting. Mm, that's clean. Flash it for just 10 seconds or less, nothing more. If you're doing anything more than that, then you're just over flashing. And you're probably curing the ink. And the reason you don't want that, see this isn't flashed yet, so it, that's why it's in my hand. So you don't want that. But when you over cure the ink, the second coat will not adhere to the first coat. So you want the first coat to be not fully fast, I mean cured, but you want it to be like sticky. As you can see, this is sticky. You can hear it. So this will adhere well to the second coat. And the second coat, you just want it to be light. So I'm just going to lightly glide over that print. You saw that? That means the screen popped and everything was good. You heard that again? That's perfect. That's the exact noise you want. Yep. Everything is perfect. So now let's throw this in the conveyor dryer. Make sure it's cured. All right, it just came out the conveyor dryer, so I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit. You don't want to do this right away. You want it to cool off a little bit, um, and then do the stretch test. So let's do this. So as you can see, that's cracking a little bit. Nothing crazy, but that's cracking a little bit. So now what I would do here is, this is great for you guys. So now that it's cracking, what I would do here is I would just adjust my temperature, raise the heat on the conveyor dryer, or lower the speed on the belt, how fast it's moving so it could bake a little longer. So I'm going to adjust the speed, get it cured at the right temp, and then start production. Boom. This is hot. It just came out the flash. Let me cool it off. You really shouldn't do this right away. It's not the proper test. You should wait. But let's see. But if it if it can withstand coming stretch test coming straight out the um, conveyor dryer, it can withstand anything. This thing can be bulletproof. Just kidding. Don't quote me on that. As you can see now, there's no cracking. Give you guys a close up on that stretching it and there's no cracking whereas this one you see how that's cracking so you, all i had to do was slow slower the temperature on the i mean slower the belt speed and it came out perfect it got a slight crack right there but i'll just slow it down a little bit more and we're we're good to go so let's begin production There is the front print is done. It's coming out the conveyor. Everything is current property. Now let's move on to doing the back prints, which is staff. There you have it, the back print of these are done. Came out nice, bright, opaque, and clean.
just like that, we just got another box that arrived perfectly on time. As soon as I finished those shirts, the other shirts that I was going to work on today just arrived. So let's get this unboxed and start printing these. Now, before I move on to printing those shirts, I want to fold these up just so the print or anything doesn't get wrinkled up, especially when it's hot and just sitting in this bin. So I'm going to fold these up and then move on to printing. All right guys, there's the shirts that we're printing and this is the design that we are printing today. Instead of boring you guys with the same information and me repeating myself, what I'm gonna do is just make a time lapse and I'm gonna be refreshing the tack on this, taping this up, adding ink, and then I'll show you guys a close up of the sample print. All right guys, I'm gonna show you guys this spray tack thing one more time. As you can see, look at all that lint. All you do is spray water, grab the same brush. And look at the difference. As you can see, it just takes all that lint off. Now, all I do is put this under the flash and it'll be as sticky as new. All right guys, now let's do the test print for this design. We got some clog on the S. Or not, I mean it printed perfectly, never mind. That looks perfect. There's a pinhole right there that I need to cover. But other than that, we are looking perfect. Let me just make sure. Yup. All right guys, I just did the test print on an extra t-shirt just to make sure everything is good. Even though the other customer's order didn't crack, I just wanna make sure and let's see. As you can see, it's not cracking or nothing. This thing is literally bulletproof. I bet you the shirt will crack before ink. See? Bulletproof. Let's move on to production. And just like that, this order is done as well. With the black shirts with the one color print in the front. Came out clean. As you can see. And here it is. The first order is done. The second order is done. They both came out fantastic. There you guys have it. These shirts turned out awesome. Here's the two orders that we did today. This is for Chisel, one of the gyms, local gyms, with the staff in the back. And this is Vetted Trainers, which is basically another gym. So today was just like a whole gym customer vibe. So, and it turned out awesome. All these shirts were just black shirts, white ink, everything turned out sweet. And you know how I roll, doing a free t-shirt for 
them and even another one which is both different brands so they can feel it test it out see if they like this one better and it's for free so why not it's like a little surprise anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a day in the life of a screen print shop owner i'm 21 years old and i run my own screen print shop full time out of my parents basement let me know what you guys think of this video and i'm just documenting my journey if you want to see more live updates of what i'm up to or what aesthetic imprints this print company is up to follow us on instagram at aesthetic imprints same thing as the youtube channel man i can't talk it's the same thing as the youtube channel username so just follow us there and if you want to place an order with us we'd be more than happy to help you start a brand help you get t-shirts printed and we can always ship it to you so just reach out to us on instagram or down below in the description i have all my methods of communication listed below if you enjoyed this video please 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 like this video and if you're new here go ahead and smash the subscribe button check out these videos and browse through my channel run the likes up and i'll see you in the next one also i want you guys to remember one thing and that is no run, no glory.